President-elect Donald Trump doubling down on his unabashed comment to make Americans rich. But to be a strong nation, we must also be a wealthy or a rich nation. But they say, Mr. President-elect, it doesn't sound good when you say rich nation. I say we have to be a rich nation if we're going to rebuild our military, if we're going to build the wall. What's wrong with being rich? Here now is Steve Forbes, a rich man. He is also Forbes Media Chairman. You know, people come here from poor countries not to stay poor, not even to, to stay in the middle class, but to be rich. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with being aspirational? Not at all. And uh, Abraham Lincoln talked about improving your lot in life. That's the great virtue of this country. You come here, you can make something of yourself, and you look at the standard of living today, despite what's happened in the last eight or ten years, manifestly higher than it was 20 years ago, 40 years ago, 60 years ago. So even middle class people right. today uh, have a rich life compared to what their uh, grandparents had. But again, it's, it's like the, what President Obama was say, has said so often that they stand behind. There's nothing wrong with standing behind the middle class, but middle class people have aspirations to be rich. The poor have aspirations to be middle class, well, middle class to be rich. That's what America's about, is it not? Yes, we're not a status quo country. Uh, what you start out with is not what you're going to be your station for the rest of your life, which is been true of most of human if history. you're coasting you're going downhill i always remember somebody <laughs> saying that line all right but, quickly no but but uh, so we got to remove the barriers so that people get a better life and the, we want capital creation that's how you get a higher standard of living obama never understood it worst recovery in american history right. from a sharp downturn well to change us uh, our nation into a rich nation we have to change policies and we're still hearing that reagan alum larry kudlow who we see here may get a key economic post in the Trump administration, but the Washington Post slamming Kudlow as, quote, another unorthodox pick for Trump. They say he lacks a graduate or undergraduate degree in economics and has not written scholarly papers on this subject. All he ever did, Steve, was help implement the most successful growth plan this country's ever seen. Isn't that good enough? Uh, apparently not, but Galileo didn't have a Ph.D. in astronomy when he observed that the sun does not revolve around the earth. So the key thing is, does Larry Kudlow understand the economy? The answer is yes. Do the economists that Obama appointed understand the economy? Answer, no. And case closed. This election was all about getting those academics from the IMF and all these other eggheads out of there. Those who don't change the economy for the good should not be in the process of making policies. Well, in these academics, uh, it's like a baseball player who can't hit or can't throw. Not going to be good for the team. Get people who can deliver results. Hello. I like that analogy. Steve Forbes, great to see you. And we'll see you tomorrow on Fox News Channel, 11 a.m. for Forbes look, look on Fox. Look forward to it. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Be sure to tune in.